Hi, today I'm going to discuss with you on how to protect yourself on the street. And right now we're living in a very strange world. And if we walk on the street, and this prosperity may get attacked by a stranger without any reason. And, and this sometimes is hard to uh, defend yourself because to, you don't know why. And you don't know in which situation. And before we get into the detailed discussion on how to protect yourself on the street, let's see some video. And, and the first video, let's see the first video. Brutal attacks on seniors in Oakland's Chinatown last week, including this horrifying video of a 91-year-old man being pushed to the pavement. You can see that 90 years old man was suddenly attacked by someone from back. Uh, I don't know. Apparently, there's no reason. Just kind of a strange thing happened. They just suddenly attack you. And that can cause very serious outcome or even death. Let's come to see another video. This is a story of a woman falling victim to danger on a center city Philadelphia street in the graduate hospital neighborhood, but not without a purpose. Live in South Detectives. You can see that young lady was just attacked by someone on the street, and this is on on central Philadelphia. You can see that it's a, it just attacked people. I don't know the reason, but but it looks so uh, serious. And let's see the last video. It's hard to watch. You are looking at the moment now, 84-year-old Rong Xin Liao. And just people just sit on the street and the parent without any reason to just attack this old man. He's 84 years old. And that can be a uh, very serious consequences. Uh, in this, this is three very special, specific cases, and also can be uh, very extreme cases, and it is hard to defend. But in the real life, there are many, many more cases like this. But usually, people attack you; they have a reason, and they look for something from you. They want to get something from you. So, so today we're going to talk about how to defend yourself. And, and first thing that you need to be fully aware of the surrounding. And so before you go to anywhere, make sure you know the environment. And if you travel traveling to an unknown city, and try to get the direction to your destination. Try to leave in the hotel so you know where you are going. Don't look at the map and show that you are you are not familiar with the city. And also, as I mentioned earlier, that people attack you, you should have some purpose. It won't get money from you and, or something from you. So you keep your variable position, like your wallets smartphones and cameras out of sight from the attacker. So so don't don't make don't display any of this cash and cell phones and so don't let them see you. So that will reduce the potential that they attack you. And that since try try not to be like a tourist uh, because they know you should the attack now, the tourists are usually uh, have they tend to carry a lot of money, a lot of cash. And also they're not familiar with the surroundings, so they will be they can be a good target for the, to attack the tourist. And when you're traveling, try to travel in the group. You see that all three cases, three video in the report. There was individual people. So if you have group and then you can help each other, then you can prevent this from happening. And don't go to 
place which have few people and try to state the place that where there are a lot of people so they may be able to help you and also try to uh, seek safety when you find some people follow you and that you need to try go to safety place uh, place this uh, police and also draw attention to yourself and just yelling out and helps or stop follow me and in this case you get the attention from surrounding people may help you and also put as much distance between you and these people want to attack you so if you keep keep the distance they have less chance to attack you and also we now know that there are so many such kind of cases you need to arm yourself for attack try to arm yourself and so just in case you should carry something to protect yourself such as this uh, paper spare and so sometimes just simply put out and put forward to criminals saying don't come close to me i have a paper spare and by this word may be scare them so they're not uh, close to you and you if you suspect someone's follow you you can just say leave me alone i'm calling the police and it's possible you need to fight back and that just in case this is uh, to protect yourself you just fight back to to protect yourself from from this criminal to attack you and of course you need to show make sure that you have the power to fight back and the most important thing is that is uh, make yourself safe just in case they need money just give the money to them because give the warning to to the attack if they want money and because life is much much more precious precious than this uh, than the money and uh, uh, keep you safe and remember always report the crimes to police and the the, the criminal attack you and this high chances that they were going to attack other people so if you report to police the police will have the record and first of all they may help you to identify the criminals and also they will men be able to uh, monitor this area and the criminal will be appear again and that's just simple advice on how to protect yourself from criminal from attack and I wish you safe and uh, this is very important to know something and also mentioned that maybe when you go to some some place it's not especially not safe place you should arm yourself and so in this case you can protect yourself from potential attack and I wish you safe and happy and let's see you in my next video. Thanks and bye.